If you're using the Matrix 100 with N1 flight controller, then please install the guidance to your aircraft first. If, however, you're using a non-N1 flight controller, you can just connect the guidance to set parameters. After you run the guidance assistance software and enter the view page, the light at the bottom left of the screen will show a solid green if the guidance is well connected. When the working status shows yes, you can see real-time images from every orientation by clicking preview. Click upgrade to see if any new firmware is available for the guidance. If yes, then please click update. If you haven't logged into your account, please try to log in again. It can take anything up to five minutes to upgrade and depends on the content that needs to be upgraded. Please restart the guidance after you've completed the upgrade process. Return to the view page and select the work type. Please select the appropriate work type according to the type of your flight controller. Please select standard for your N1 flight controller. For example, the default flight controller on the Matrix 100 is the N1 flight controller. Please select DIY for other flight controllers. Enter the standard page and select the aircraft type. If you have installed the guidance on the default mounting position of the Matrix 100, you do not have to make any changes to the parameters. If, however, you've selected DIY from the scroll down menu of the aircraft type, then you'll need to set the parameters for the guidance sensor position. The instructions will appear on the left-hand side when you begin to fill in the parameters. Please note that the nose of the aircraft should point towards the positive direction of X. With the guidance assistance software, a parameter range will appear when your cursor stops at the parameter field for a period of one second. Check the obstacle sensing mode box to activate this mode. When this mode is activated, you can set the velocity level in the range 1 to 10, where 10 represents the fastest speed and 1 represents the slowest speed. A velocity level of 7 is a default value. You can also adjust the braking sensitivity, where a higher value means the aircraft will stop at a longer distance from the obstacle, and 3.25 is a default value. If you use a default aircraft and mount the guidance onto the default mounting position, we suggest you keep the default parameters unchanged. If not, then please set the parameters appropriately. Parameter setting is complete under the standard work type mode. Set the guidance sensor camera parameters under the DIY work type mode. Select at least one orientation and then click preview to view the real-time image. For each of the orientation tabs, you can select the type of the exposure by moving the exposure tab to either auto or fixed. You can set the expected luminance if auto is selected. Appropriately, you can select the exposure time if fixed is selected. Click enter to check the final result shown in the preview field. Click the USB tab and check the enable box to view the output frequency of the basic parameters. For each image, you can set the output frequency and also the orientation by checking the grayscale image box or a depth image box. The output frequency of basic parameters can be viewed by clicking the UART tab and checking the enable box. Click the advanced tab. Here you can set the position for the guidance core and the five guidance sensors. Please follow the procedures listed in the column on the left hand side and please note that the aircraft nose points to the positive direction of X. Parameter setting is complete under the DIY work type mode. Click the calibration button and a calibration page will appear. Select a guidance sensor that needs to be calibrated and then click start. A visual target will appear. Hold up the guidance sensor and point it to the grid board until a combination of a cross and circle appear inside the target. You can adjust the position of the combination of the cross and the circle by moving the sensor up, down, left or right 
and be able to adjust the size of the combination of the cross and circle by moving the sensor forwards and backwards, effectively making it fit with the outline of the target. When they fit together, the target will begin to move around. Move the sensor to make the combination of the cross and the circle move with the target. Eventually, you should see that the progress bar will display the ongoing progress. The assistant software will start to calculate the parameters and upload them to the guidance. Please wait patiently for this to happen. For safety reasons, please calibrate all the sensors when using the guidance system for the first time. Setting parameters is complete. Many thanks for watching this video.